Well, hi everybody, I just wanted to do this quick video to test out my new Drift microphone. I, I got it because I just haven't been able to find a proper, a, a decent mic that um, cancels out the wind noise for doing these videos, but uh, I've tried this one, as you can see from the video, and um, I really like it, I really enjoyed it. It's great, it works well, I'm going to keep it. So, uh, enjoy the video. Yeah. Red light. Yes, I can. I must be recording. Right, the purpose of this ride is to test out this microphone, which is the microphone they use for the, the ghost drift cameras. And every video I've seen, a vlog I've seen on YouTube that's got really good audio is um, recorded with a drift camera, presumably using the standard drift microphone that goes with it so since i don't have a drift camera i have a uh, contour plus two bought it because it was a good deal on ebay uh, as it's turned out i don't know whether that was a wise decision or not although the camera itself it's a good camera eh? seems to be anyway uh, but i haven't been able to find a, a good microphone to, to match it up with so i stumbled across a supplier in Australia actually who supplies um, drift microphones as an accessory and it happens to fit this camera so I'm trying it out well I bought it so it better be okay because um, I'm getting sick of buying microphones now we're zooming along now at 20, uh, what are we 60 kilometers an hour with the visor open just for my reference. Yes, I've dispensed with my jacket today and I'm just wearing my, I don't know what you call it, it's an armor suit I suppose. It's just a very light weight um, fabric. Construction with uh, plastic pads on the shoulders and the elbows, and a big um, armor plate down my back, and it's good. It's a bit tight. The trouble when you order things on eBay, it's um, I ordered the XXL size because I know Chinese sizing is pretty small, but I don't consider myself to be a really big guy, but it's pretty tight. <laughs> So I'm just, this is the first time I've worn it, I've, I've had it for over a year, but I sort of haven't really worn it, so it's the first time I've worn it on a proper ride anywhere, um, and I'm sure it'll, I don't know whether it'll stretch or whether I'll just get used to it, but boy, it's, it's nice and cool, the wind just goes straight through it. And I've got some nice new gloves here too, um, Dry Rider, Airflow System gloves got little holes in the knuckles and I can even at this speed I'm what 45 50 k's I can um, I can feel the air the cold air coming onto my knuckles it's great they're leather uh, the problem I had with my other gloves is firstly they were winter gloves and really hot but secondly I reckon the the fingers were too short so every time I wrap my fingers around the handlebars my fingers sort of got forced into the end of the glove and it hurt like anything so I had to make sure I put them on really loosely and, and left about an inch um, gap at the end of the fingers so that when I racked them around the handlebars it, they didn't shrink onto my fingers and hurt right not the open road now put the visor down Let's see what that difference to, makes to the sound This speed, this, um, this armour is really great. Really, it's like riding without a shirt on.
great for the summertime. Definitely what I'm going to wear when I go to the South Island. <laughs> 